Hey there, Matthew here. Um, I'm back. I hope everybody had a good New Year's and holiday season, all that. And this is a new year, 2022, and we've got some new stuff. Uh, we just had CES 2022 happen, and so there are some new products announced. And one of them is right here, the Skagen Gen 6 smartwatch. So we're going to quickly unbox this and just do a first impressions of this. So stay tuned. So we have the Skagen Falster Gen 6. This is the predecessor to the Skagen Falster 3. And this goes in line with the Fossil branded watches, the Fossil Gen 6. Uh, this has the Snapdragon 4100 Plus chipset, which means that it is it should run very, very smoothly and uh, have the latest chipset from Qualcomm in here, uh, which is nice because that means that this will eventually, it's not coming out of the box with it, but eventually it will be upgraded to the new Wear OS 3.0. So that's really good. Uh, currently it is running Wear OS 2.0 and same with the fo Fossil Gen 6 smartwatches and the new Fossil Gen 6 Razer collab smartwatch. They all are running the older Wear OS 2.0, but later on, maybe spring, maybe summer, hopefully before the fall, uh, those watches, anything that is running these new Snapdragon Wear 4100, at least so far, will get the newest and greatest operating system that is a collab from Samsung and Google to create the Wear OS 3.0. But I just wanted to iterate that yes, this is we're running the Wear OS 2.0, but later on in the year it will be upgraded to the newest Wear OS 3.0. The only watch that I know of personally that uh, has the new Wear OS 3.0 would be the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic here and the Galaxy 4 Watch 4 here that I have. And I love the both of these watches. Um, they were my daily driver when I had the S21 Ultra. I daily drove the Galaxy Watch uh, 4 Classic. And now that I am daily driving the Google Pixel 6 Pro, I am daily driving the Galaxy Watch 4, which is kind of the active version. So this will actually kind of replace the Galaxy Watch 4 um, as my daily smartwatch. But we're gonna just do an unboxing of this and kind of go through the specs as we unbox it. So stay tuned. Okay, so we have the smartwatch right here. It comes in this um, normal package that most of the Fossil and Skagen watches come in. So at least the smartwatches do. So that's nice that it is still kind of reminiscent of that. Um, so we're gonna quickly just take this plastic off so you can kind of see the smartwatch itself. We don't really need that plastic, so I'm gonna toss that. But here is the box itself. It's very nice on the side. It says Skagen smartwatch right there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, Skagen smartwatch and then on this side it says uh, Wear OS. We're gonna quickly just do cut on the side here. It does have some tape. So we're gonna cut the side there. And we can cut the side here as well if you want. And we'll just take that plastic cover off. And right here is the watch itself. And I got the charcoal stainless steel mesh smartwatch because I really like that mesh um, smartwatch look. I have plenty of the rubber bands like this and then I have these really cool um, little bands that act as magnets. It's very similar to the Apple bands and these are 20 millimeter right here so just be aware. And of course the Skagen smartwatch actually does use 20 millimeter bands as well so that's really good. I kind of tried to set it up that way so I could use any of these bands and any of the bands that I got for the uh, Galaxy Watch 4 and Watch 4 Classic I can use for the Skagen smartwatch as well. So, um, And then we're just going to, if I remember correctly, there we go, we're going to peel that open. And here is the smartwatch itself. It looks very nice. It is kind of a 
chunky boy um, whenever you look at it. It is a thick boy, but it does look very, very kind of industrial looking, which is what Scoggin is known for. They are um, owned by Fossil, the Fossil Group, which also, again, makes the Fossil smartwatches, um, but they are kind of the, the minimalistic, uh, industrial Swedish look of the company. And then in the box as well, we do have some paperwork. So we do have just kind of a, a quick start guide, uh, charging, downloading. There is an app for both the Apple and the Google Play Store, so uh, you can get that, and it would be called Wear OS by Google App. And then just some useful tips right there. And then this is just some some paperwork. Uh, we don't really need that, so I'm gonna put that right there on the box. I'm gonna put that right there on the box. And then the last thing would be the charging cable. Now, if you have a previous uh, Fossil watch, let's say the Fossil Gen 5, Fossil Gen 4, any of those, that charger will actually work with this watch. Um, however, it won't charge this watch as fast as, let's say, the new charging puck, because if you see here, I don't know if you can see, it does have these two right here, these charging pins right here, whereas the older generation only has this one and it does not have that one. So this allows for faster charging, twice as fast as charging, but you can still use your older pins if you want. Um, it's just, uh, if you want a faster charge, you should use the one provided in the box. So, okay, so let's go over some of the quick specs of this smartwatch before I really get into the smartwatch itself. Uh, this is running, again, the Wear OS 2.0, but it will be upgraded to Wear OS 3.0 whenever Fossil makes that available. Uh, it has one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabytes of internal storage, so that is nice that it should be able to fly through those animations and everything like that pretty easily. If you have a Fossil Gen 6, uh, then you will be very aware, aware of how fast this thing can move because it is the same internals as the Gen 6 Fossil smartwatch. So that's nice that basically they brought everything over from the Gen 6 to the Gen 6 uh, Falster. The display is a 1.28 active area diameter. So that means the whole area of the screen is going to be active and you can touch it. You can press it, you can do whatever the heck you want with it, and it will register your taps and presses and all that. So that's really cool. Uh, it should be pretty nice. It is a 416 by 416 dimension screen, which gives you 326 PPI. So basically what that means is that you're going to be having a very nice screen on this smartwatch. It's not gonna be super dull or anything like that. Um, when I first see this smartwatch, I immediately kind of think of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 right here. As you can see, they look kind of similar Let's see if it was focused. Yeah, they look kind of similar because of the the squared off sides. But other than that, I, I do like the minimalistic view. And I will say right here on the smartwatch, you do have three different pushers. You have one, two, and then three. And this middle one is actually a rotating crown. So you can go through your menus and all that with this smartwatch right here using that middle button. So um, as you can see, I've actually just taken off my Galaxy Watch 4 smartwatch and um, I love smartwatches. I, I love watches in general. As you can see here, I do have a, a watch tan on my wrist. It's kind of bad actually, but um, I do love watches in general. I've had smartwatches for the last several years. I've gone anywhere from the Galaxy Watch 4 I've even had the Huawei watch back in the day. I had the Samsung Gear S3, um, the Samsung watch, Galaxy watch. I've had, I even had an Apple watch at one point when I did use iPhones, but I don't use iPhones anymore, so there's no point, so I gave it to a friend. But all that to say, I've had smart watches for a long, long time, and I've had the Fossil smart watches for a long, long time. Uh, I have the, the Fossil Gen 5 right here, but I've also had the Gen 4 and the Gen 3, and then, a really, a really nice watch that I really, really enjoyed was the Moto 360, the second generation or third generation, or the, the newest Moto 360. Um, I really, really enjoyed this watch. It was 
a, a really nice watch to have, very pleasant to use, and I just really enjoyed it. So um, I kind of know some things when it comes to smartwatches um, these days, but um, I just looking at this smartwatch, I really, really do like it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of take it, open it up, and just like that. I will say the first thing I, I notice when I do... Um, Un undo the the clasp is that the clasp kind of feels a little um it does feel industrial when it comes to it like more of like a, like a matte finish clasp i guess but it does look very very nice so <clears throat> this is going to have pretty much all of your sensors that you're going to need it can measure your blood oxygen it can measure runs um, GPS all that kind of st all that good stuff it can do your heart rate anything really that you want um, it to do it will be able to do again it, it's it's a very nice watch I would say I wouldn't go running with this or anything like that because of the fact that it is more of a uh, I guess a, a fashion watch rather than a active watch uh, if you want an active watch something like the Galaxy Watch 4 or uh, something like that uh, might be better for you but this watch can track any of those functions if you want it to um, but I was just give, just letting you know that uh, it does have all those um, sensors that can sense all that the gyroscope and all that so uh, this does have the Bluetooth 5.0 low energy so it's not going to draw too much energy from your uh, smartwatch which is really nice it's not going to drain that battery a whole lot um, so uh, this should be able to last 24 hours um, if you need it to you can put it in kind of a watch battery saving mode and it should make it last a little bit longer I know in the past Fossil or Scoggin has had some issues with the the battery being a little bit less than a lot of people expected I think for an everyday person who's just going to wear this on their wrist, have it there to tell time and get the notifications and all that, I think you should be fine. When it comes to charging of this watch, it does support fast charging, so um, it, with a 30 minute charge this should get you to 80%. So let's say you go, um, you go and take a shower real quick, um, and you should get at least enough battery out of this watch to give you at least 50% uh, battery. If you take a super long shower, I don't, but if you do, then this should get you plenty of battery to last most of the day. So uh, just be aware. But we're going to go ahead and just turn this smartwatch on. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so I'm back. I have the smartwatch all set up here. So I have it connected to a Google Pixel 6 Pro right here, but it will connect to an iPhone and any Android phone uh, as long as you have that, uh, the Wear OS app. I'm just going to walk through this smartwatch and kind of my first impressions. When I first look at it, I think the smartwatch looks really, really nice. It's really very sleek. It kind of reminds me a little bit, again, like I said, of the Galaxy Watch 4. And kind of like the Moto 360, except the bezel on the the Falser Gen 6 isn't as big as the bezel on the Moto 360. So that's really nice. Um, I will say the the display itself looks very very nice. I don't know if you can see that, um, but it does look very very nice. And it just breezes through all of these functions without any um, stutters, really, which is really good. I'm hoping with the Wear OS 3.0 that it keeps with that. It doesn't do a whole lot of stuttering or anything like that. Um, I'm really excited to see how Fossil uh, and uh, Scoggin deal with that. So, um, Other than that, this watch looks very good. It's very minimalistic and very industrial, so that's really nice. I'm wondering, I'm curious if there is a... A funny little animation that goes with this watch whenever you do put it on the charger um, I know sometimes it does yeah there is uh, there is a funny little uh, animation that does go with this watch I will try to put it up here and so you can kind of see it but it is kind of funny um, so let me go ahead and just put this smartwatch on and see how it looks on my wrist um, my wrist is kind of small compared to probably some other wrists, so it will vary, but this smartwatch doesn't look too bad on my wrist, I don't think. Um, I will have to change, I guess, the size of this. 
Okay, so this is kind of how it looks on my wrist. My wrist isn't the largest wrist. It isn't, it's probably, in most people's words, would probably be considered dainty. Um, I don't really care. Uh, my wrist is my wrist. It is what it is. I don't really care what you think of it. But uh, it does look like it's a good size. I believe it's a 43 millimeter watch casing. This is very nice. I really, really do like it. It feels really good in the, in the, on the wrist. Uh, it's not too big, not too small. And the pushers, if you wear the watch correctly um, in the certain spot, I know a lot of people are like, oh, it, it, when I do stuff like this, it always presses the buttons. Um, a general watch rule, if you wear it in the correct spot, when you do that, it shouldn't press the buttons anyways. So just be aware. But overall, the watch looks really, really nice on my wrist. I, I really do like it. Um, I will say though, from what I've seen, this does pick up some fingerprints on the side where it is kind of matte. Um, so just be aware of that. But um, overall, it does look and feel very nice, at least in my opinion. Uh, it does have some specific watch faces that are only for the Foster lineup. So if you want to find these watch faces on, let's say, a Fossil Gen 6, you won't be able to find them. You only find them on the Foster uh, Gen 6 smartwatch, so just be aware of that. Same with the animation, you only get that animation on the Falster lineup, not on the Fossil lineup. So, um, other than that, uh, this watch does retail for 295 US dollars. I'm not sure about conversions if it um, to like let's say euros or pounds or uh, Canadian dollars or anything like that. So uh, I'll let you guys kind of do that conversion. But in the US, it is 295 US dollars, um, and I think that it does look and feel the price. Um, I do know that Scoggin and Fossil do tend to put their smartwatches on sale depending on the time. So maybe around uh, uh, Valentine's Day, there might be a sale that pushes this down to maybe 199, something like that. So just be on the lookout for that. Uh, this is the brand new uh, watch from Scoggin, the Scoggin Falster 6. It was announced at CES and it is now available for orders um, at for $295. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, go ahead, subscribe. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I post another video. Um, I hope you guys had a great New Year's and holiday season and we are back at it in this 2022 year. So stay tuned for some more awesome videos I've got. Uh, a little bit of a lineup that I have planned. Hopefully I'll get those out in the next coming weeks. So thank you guys for watching. Everyone stay safe out there. Peace.